Hello students, uh, today we will be talking about quadratic formula. Before going through this video, you all can go through my video on basic factorization. So that will give you exact idea what is factorization all about. And it will give you a differentiation that when you should use basic factorization and when you should use quadratic formula. For example, if I look here, I have to find factor of negative 3. 1, 3 is a 3 will give me positive 3. I want positive 4. So this will give me positive 4, 1 plus 3. But 1 times positive 3 will not give me negative 3. So this is an indication that you have to use quadratic factor formula over here. Secondly, either they can give you in the question directly that solve the sum by quadratic formula or they can tell you that, you know, solve this sum and give the answer up to two decimal places. That's, that is an indication that it is quadratic formula or they can tell you that solve this question by uh, and give the answer up to three significant fig figures. That is also an indication that it is by quadratic formula method. Now, let us begin with this sum. So, this is like this ax square. Nor this is the equation of quadratic. This is called quadratic equation. So, in this question, what is my a? Nothing over here is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, c is equal to negative 3. This is quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So, what you will do? Now, all these things you will replace in this formula. So, minus, so first it is minus uh, b. So, keep that sign like that and b is equal to 4 plus minus b square minus 4 into a is 1 into c is negative 3 over 2 into a is 1, right? So, negative 4 plus minus 4 square is 16 minus minus plus 4 threes are 12 over 2. So, minus 4 plus minus root of 28 over 2. Now, see, IG international school students can directly do this on calculator. But all other schools like ICSC, CBSC cannot do this on calculator. In case of competitive exams also, you cannot do this on calculator. So, you have to find the root square root because it's not a perfect square. It's an imperfect square. So, you will be doing like this. Now, square root of 4 is what? It is 2. And what is square root of 7? It is root 7. Right? I will be taking common factor over here. So, it is 2. So, negative 2 plus minus root of 7 over 2. Correct? Because my common factor is 2 and then I will be... So, my answer will be what? Negative 2 plus minus root of 7. This is my answer. Now, let us try another example. This is my next example. I will take everything on left side. Right? This is a prime number. 2 ones are 2. I want the factor for 2. Suppose 1 twos are 2 will give me 2. But I want negative 2 and I, here also I want negative 2. So, will I able to get negative 2 on the basis of this? Like minus, minus will give me negative 3. Minus 2 plus 1 will give me negative 1. So, in short, normal factorization is not possible. I need to follow quadratic formula over here also. So, this is the formula. Always remember this is in terms of A. This is in terms of B and this is in terms of C. You all have to see the sign. Here why I took positive because this is positive too. Here why I took negative because there is a negative sign. Here why I took negative because there is a negative sign. So C is equal to negative 1. Now I will replace this. This is normal algebraic expression. I will replace this in this formula. So negative B. So first I will write negative sign because here it is negative. And then B is negative 2 plus minus root of B square minus 4 into 2 into C over 2 into 2. So, this will become positive 4 plus minus 4 min minus minus is plus 8 over 4. Correct? Are you guys with me? 
this is not positive 4 sorry it is positive 2 over here it is 2 see you all have to be very careful about all of this right so then it is like this 2 plus minus root of 12 over 4 i can do lcm method also or i can say that root of 4 is 4 into 3 so then it is like this what is root of 4 decided root of 4 is 2 what is root of 3 it is root 3 right so see uh, then uh, what will i do is i i need to factorize so common factor over here is 2 in the bracket 1 plus root 3 over 4. This cut, this cut. So, my answer is 1 plus minus root of 3 over 4. This is my answer. Now, for example, this equation, okay, out here, whatever, this is your equation, if it is in this manner, 2 plus minus root of 36 over 4, then, you know, I can directly solve this. 2 plus minus uh, root of 36 is what? 6 over 4. So, 2 plus 6 over 4 or 2 minus 6 over 4. So, 8 over 4 or negative 4 over 4. So, this is 2. This is 1. So, my answer is 2 or negative 1. Such kind of scenario, you all can either leave your answer like this. ICSC, CBSE students can leave their answer like this. But the schools which are allowing calculator, you all can take this thing on the calculator like this. and give your answer up to two decimal places. So, go through this video thoroughly and your quadratic formula is then sorted. Thank you.